Skills as keeper. <laughs> what was that skill? Setting the keeper down to the shot with the McGeady spin cancel into reverse. Easy tapping from him. This card just catches so many people out with that skill move. How have we not won the ball here? So we are looking at the brand new greats of the game. Diego Forlan, 95 rated, 5 star skill, 4 star weak foot, high high, 5 foot 11, can play left wing, left mid, centre forward or striker. Absolutely outstanding acceleration, sprint speed, finishing shot power, composure, agility balance, even passing is great, great long shots, header and accuracy of 99. We have got ourselves finesse shot, chip shot, power shot plus, tick attacker plus, ping pass, incisive, technical flair, first touch, trickster, traveller plus, and quick step. Now for chem styles, we've gone for a hawk, really to maximize that finishing and shooting. Now if we head over to footbin, you can see here, gets him up to 98 pace, 99 shooting and 89 physical. Makes him into a 97 rated striker. Now we will cover a little bit later on prices, chem styles, what position I thought was best and how does the upgrade work with the card. But that being said, let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay. We are playing in Weekend League today or Foot Champs depending on what you call it. And we are playing in our 4-2-3-1 formation with Forlan up front on his own. His main job is to get as many goals for us as possible and carry us over to the finish line. Try and win this game. Everybody's got crazy good teams now. So I'm hoping that Forland does does really, really well in terms of transitioning into this game. And they have made him into a card that he once was like in real life. How clinical he was back in the day. And we're going to see how we get on with him up front for us. We are 1-0 down. We haven't even touched the ball yet. We've got a very good opponent in our hands here. We're going to have to see if we can step up. See what Forland can do with us. Like I said, he hasn't even touched the ball yet. Very, very difficult to break down our opponent in the first five minutes. He's very good with possession, so we're going to have to see how we get on him. I have to change my style of play slightly. Uh, Forlands finally touched the ball 10 minutes in. Like I say, very, very difficult opponent at the moment. Good run from him, though, I have to admit, at the top of the pitch. Can we find him with that through ball? It's a hard pass. Ah, oh, he's just offside anyway. We nearly got ourselves a chance there, but that's the first touch he's sort of done. Did a little bit of skill to get the space. A little tick attacker pass in. In terms of speed, look very quick there, but too early to judge just yet. Let's see if we can get some more play with him. There we go. Count attack. Four Find four lands. A lovely through ball from four land there. We've got ourselves in behind with that one ball. Round the keeper and a lovely finesse there from four land. That's literally all we've been able to do in the first 26 minutes of that game. Coming in deep, picking up that ball, turn around with an absolutely perfectly weighted pass into Giroud from Forland there. Let's see if we can turn our luck around a little bit. We have really nothing to show you as of yet because we've been absolutely dominated in this game, struggling to get out of our half. Let's see if we can carry this on now. Maybe the luck's starting to change for us. What a through ball and a counter attack there. A great finish from Giroud as well. Forland there, great hold up. Lovely turn. Now we've got the turn on him. Great ball in to Griezmann, gets the shot off and it's blocked. Again, good link-up play. We are eating off scraps right now. And that's half-time, so really not much to show you there. It's been one of the tougher games I've had to play today. Our opponents just absolutely clamped us down and we can't get out. We're going to try and make some changes here, try and move the ball a little bit quicker. In terms of what Forlands had to offer, we've had no shots with him yet. He keeps coming in a little bit too deep. He keeps dropping into this camera, which I don't like. I wish he'd stop doing that. But apart from that, we are doing what we can as best. We're going to go ahead and bring on some pace, as mentioned, and try and get ourselves some better passes onto the field. Use this for Kia at some point as well. We're going to leave it at that for now. But we're going to try and get some shots with Forlan. Really haven't been able to test his ability to shoot yet. Like I say, it's a very difficult game. Link-up-wise, fantastic. Great through ball from him. Open up that space nice and early. Now let's just see if we can capitalize with a few opportunities. Find Musiala here. Forlan on that left foot. And that's his first shot as we're moaning about it. Gets the goal. Absolutely clinical finish on that left foot there. One goal, one assist in this game. We're back in it again. Hopefully, this is going to turn our luck around now. Let's see how we get on. But good, good finish there. I know we green timed the shot, but top corner there on that angle was very, very difficult to put in. And we needed that goal big time. Forlan's running. Forlan wants it. Easy finish and a lovely goal. Two goals, one assist from him in the second half. Making those changes, giving him a new lease of life. And now he is carrying us massively in this game. Two shots, two goals, one assist as well. He has been very clinical. Lovely skill opens it up. Man marking. Four lad, gone one way, gone the other. There's his hat trick. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. 
the skill moves absolutely surprising our opposition there and giving us the chance the McGeady spin into the left foot into the left foot finesse see you later only three shots three goals I want you to know that's how clinical he's been 4-2 now absolutely fantastic from him there really tough first half Second half, he's gone into his own, and I think our opponent has decided to rubber band. What an absolute loser. So we are going to go ahead and skip to one more game after this. Let's get one more goal with him, and there it is. So let's go skip to another game now. Into our second game then, a really hard at first half. As you saw, there were four land. Not much to be able to do. Our opponent was very, very good. We've got an assist with him, and then the second half, we made a couple changes, and then four land just turned into god mode. Absolutely carried us in that second half. Three shots on goal with three shots overall and three goals. And he just absolutely took us to the next level. Now, I'm hoping he can do the same in this game. Kind of got used to his body type and what he can do. Now, in terms of link-up play, absolutely fantastic. You saw that. But the five-star skills is what really I really like about this card. Not only can he do it with his less stick dribbling and doing the skill move animation at the same time. He can also do the link-up plays with the pass. You saw that lovely little ball into Griezmann just a second ago. And that's what I like about this card. It's very underrated in that sort of situation. I could generally see him playing more as a cam if you needed him to. Yes, he doesn't have incisive for the through ball, but he does have tick attack out for those lovely feet, well, ball to feet passes. Right, we're 2 0 down. Now we've got a serious game on our hands. We are at quite a high elo in the weekend league, so we are going to go against really good opponents now. We do need to start stepping this up ever so slightly. Great skill there from Forlan. Finds him again. Pass one, pass two. There's the Traveller, and Ness is the man. It's going to carry us back into this game single-handedly if he has to. Using all of his play styles then, picks up the loose ball as well. You can just see, he's like, once you let him off that lead and let him give free, he's absolutely a menace. That for a second. Forlan wants it back. We use him as a dummy run. Find Giroud, and we're back in the game there. Using Forlan as a link-up build-up man, and then using him as a dummy run to open the space, and we are back in the game already. Really, really hard game here. Got a lot, so much work to do here. Use that skill if we can. Lovely control, opens it up. Return the favour we can. Reverse Elastico into McGeady spin. That's got to be a penalty, Ref. How have we not had a penalty there? I, I don't know how we have not had a penalty there. I thought I played that well. Doesn't matter, we capitalise on the mistake. To the power shot. Oh, robbed last second from Lucio. Skills as keeper. <laughs> What was that skill? Setting the keeper down to the shot with the McGeady spin cancel into reverse. Easy tapping from him. This card just catches so many people out with that skill move. How have we not won the ball here? And we've managed to take the lead thanks to that chance as well. Little one-two between Odegaard. We're starting to feel the, the swag a little bit, as they say. Oh, lovely left stick and a beautiful through ball into Griezmann. Go for that early shot and a great save in the end. But you can see there, even the left stick dribble of Forlan is causing so many of possibilities and problems for our opponent. We should have definitely scored, but unfortunately, we bottled our chance, but not a problem. Again. And it's going to be half time. So, again, 2 0 down. Forlan grabbed the team by the rough of the neck and dragged us into a 3 2 lead. This card is absolutely no joke. If we have a look at his performance so far, you can see here two goals in this game. That third goal being the best individual goal I've seen with the McGeady spin cancel into turn and then buried it into the side netting. We're going to make the same changes. We're going to bring on Musiala and Sam Kerr to get some pace and some through balls into this team. But Forlan is absolutely ridiculous. Lovely touch there from Forlan. We play it back to him. We can into power shot. Oh, I got a lovely deflection on it there. Very unlucky not to drill that in. I haven't really had a chance to test out these power shots. Everybody we're playing against is sitting really deep against him and just refusing to let him attack. Lovely ball out. And we've taken the lead with another goal there. Got a runner here. Fall in between. Can he do any work from this angle? He's got a lot to do. Ah, oh, sends Lucio one way. Keeper movement and he's missed a chance. That's the first shot he's missed for us. That is so unlucky there. We did all the hard work. Oh, it was a guaranteed goal. I thought it was like definitely a goal. Not quite. Does that come back to haunt us? We'll have to see. Musiala, lovely turn. Forlan gets absolutely fouled. Clean through on goal. That's got to be a red card. It is. What is he doing there? We absolutely had his pants down on that turn. Is he going to quit? Is he going to make changes? 
So he has made some changes. We are going to go ahead and stick four land here. And we're going to try and get him to run over it and then play it into his feet and see if we can get that shot off. Oh, we did. We didn't manage to capitalize on it there. That's a shame. Not a problem, though. So we are on Footbin. It's coming about 258,000 coins, which is absolutely crazy cheap for a card like this. He is so good on a skill move, unbelievably good on the dribble, and you see there with the passing as well. Very, very clinical, but to be expected with 99 finishing, 99 shot power. I generally think he's more suited as a centre forward or a cam, to be honest. Yes, he is very clinical up front, but his link-up play is absolutely fantastic. In terms of how it works in upgrades, if Uruguay score two goals throughout the whole tournament, he's going to be 96 rated. If they score four goals, he gets 96 rated, and he gets either another playstyle plus or a 99 rated stat. So hopefully EA don't decide to boost up his finishing or shooting up to 99 because that's a waste and gets an extra playstyle. But this is a really, really good top tier striker. Definitely gets the job done for the low budget guys as well. But as always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.